Welcome to A&M Education. In this session, we are going to discuss about the topic number system. Numbers is one of the most important topic for bank entrance exam or any government exams. In this chapter, we have put together a number of models of problems. Before starting with the sum, let us understand the various types of numbers. First and foremost is the natural numbers. All the counting numbers are the natural number and it is denoted by n. Examples of natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Again, these natural numbers are subcategorized into even number and the odd numbers. The number which are exactly divisible by 2 are the even number. Examples of even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. So let me take 6 as an example and divide it by 2. 2 3s are 6. Here the remainder is 0. Since you get remainder 0, 6 will be considered as an even number. Next is the odd number. Odd numbers are those numbers which leave a reminder of 1 when it is divided by 2. Examples of odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9 and so on. Let me take 7 as an example and divide it by 2. 2 3s are 6, you get 1 as a reminder. Therefore, 7 will be considered as an odd number. Next category which comes under natural number is prime number and composite number. A number which is divisible by 1 and a number itself is called as prime number. Examples of prime number are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 etc. So, let me take 3 as an example. 3 which is divisible by 1. 1 3 is a 3. Again it is divisible by 3. 3 1 is a 3. Other than these 2, 3 is not divisible by any of the number. Therefore, 3 will be considered as prime number because it is divisible by 1 and a number itself. Always remember 1 is not a prime number. Second is the composite number. Numbers which are divisible by other numbers along with the 1 and itself. Examples of the composite numbers are 4, 6, 8, 9, 10 etc. So let me take 9 as an example. 9 which is divisible by 1. 1 9s are 9. Again in 9. 9 1s are 9. Other than this in 3. 3 3s are 9. Therefore 9 is said to be a composite number because it is divisible by 1 number itself and a other number. Second type of number is the whole number. Whole number, the set of natural number plus 0. It is denoted by W. Example of whole number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Third type is integer. Set of integer that consists of both positive number as well as negative number along with a 0, it is denoted by z. Various note about the terminal decimals and the non-terminal decimals. Let us see what is terminal decimals. Decimal which contains a finite number of digit is a terminal decimal that is example 1 by 4. Let us divide this. Since 1 is a small digit number, you have to add 0 on the dividend. When you add 0 on the dividend, you have to add point on the quotient. So, 4, 2 is a 8, 2 you get as a reminder. So, again you add 0 on the dividend, it will be 20. So, 4, 5 is a 20, the remainder is 0. So, the value of 1 by 4 is 0 0.25, which is terminal in nature, that is non-repetitive in nature. So, this is about the terminal decimals. Next is non-terminal decimals. Non-terminal decimal is a decimal in which a digit or a group of digit are repeated in nature. Example 1 by 7. Let me divide this. 1 is a small digit. So, you have to add 0 on the dividend. When you add 0 on the dividend, you have to add point on the 
quotient. So, 7 ones are 7, 3 you get as a reminder. So, I add again 0 and bring it down. So, 7 fours are 28, 2 you get as a reminder, add one more 0, you, it will be 20, 7 twos are 14, here you get 6 as a reminder, add 0, so 7 eights are 56, 4 you get as a reminder. Therefore, the value of 1 by 7 is 0 0.1428 and you have not got 0 at the reminder therefore it is continuous process that means it is non-terminal decimal that is repetitive in nature. Next type is the rational and irrational number. Rational numbers any number which can be expressed as p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is a rational number. Rational numbers include integers, terminating decimals and the recurring decimals. Examples of rational numbers are that is 24 by 7 which is in a p by q form minus 4 which is a integers 2 which is again an integers 3 by 5 which is in a p by q form. Next is irrational number. Numbers which are in the form of non-terminating and non-recurring decimals are the irrational number. Examples of irrational numbers are root 2, root 3, root 5 etc. Next type is real and complex number. Real number, the union of rational and irrational number is called a set of real numbers. Complex number, it is a combination of real and imaginary number that is in the form A plus BI where A and B are real and I is the imaginary. These are the types of numbers. Next you must know the rules of divisibility that is while you solve the sums you have to know the rules. So therefore, let us see the first rule. A number to be divisible by 2 when it has a last digit and even number. Example 128. This is a 3 digit number wherein the last digit is 8 which is even number. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Next is 246. 3 digit number. The last digit is 6 which is divisible by 2. Next second one is a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is 3 or its multiples. So you have to sum it up that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 6. 6 is divisible by 3 that means the whole number that is 123 is divisible by 3. Next 789 that is 7 plus 8 plus 9 you get 20. 4. 24 is divisible by 3 therefore it is considered as uh, whole 789 is divisible by 3. Third one a number is divisible by 4 if its last two digits are divisible by 4. Here they have given the 6 digit number. Now you have to check the last two digit that is 84 8 and 4 is yes, 8 and 4 is divisible by 4 therefore the whole 6 digit number is divisible by 4. Fourth rule, a number is divisible by 5 if its last digit is 5 or 0. So, example when you see 55 and 70 wherein the last digit is 5 and 0. Therefore, it is considered as divisible by 5. Fifth one, a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible both by 2 and 3. Example 18, yes 18 is divisible by both by 2 as well as 3. Therefore, it is divisible by 6 as well. 42. 42 is divisible by 2 and 3 therefore it is said to be divisible by 6 also. Sixth rule. A number is divisible by 8 if its last 3 digits are divisible by 8. See here the 4 digit number is given. In this you know, need to check only the last 3 digit. Last 3 digit is 816. So 816 whether it is divisible by 8 or not. Yes it is divisible by 8 that is 8 into 102 you get 816 therefore it is considered as the whole 3816 is divisible by 8. Seventh one a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits equals 9 or multiples of 9 this is somewhat similar to multiples of 3. So what you have to do here you have to sum it up that is 7 plus 2 plus 
9 you get 18 as the answer so 18 it is divisible by 9 therefore it is considered as 729 is divisible by 9 8th rule a number is divisible by 11 if the sum of alternate digit is the same or they differ by the multiples of 11 so here sum of alternate digit so for 1 the alternate digit is 2 therefore 1 plus 2 equals to 3 3 is nothing but the middle value therefore it is said that 132 is divisible by 11 next 1331 1 plus 3 that is alternate number the answer is 4 next alternate is 3 plus 1 which is 4 therefore it is considered as 1331 is divisible by 11 because the sum of these alternate numbers is equal last rule is a number is divisible by 19 if the sum of the number of tens and twice the unit digit is divisible by 19. Example 38. Let me take this example. Now here under 38, 8 is the unit digit and 3 is the tens digit. So here you have to add tens digit to the twice of the unit digit unit digit is 8 so twice of it 2 into 8 that is 3 plus 2 8s are 16 therefore 3 plus 16 is 19 so the answer is 19 therefore 38 is divisible by 19